Lord God, we need you. We want to do our work well. We want to do our work with excellence. But what we really want is for the hearts and minds of people to be drawn to you, that you would reveal yourself to us, to each individual that sees or hears the comments that will be made today. And most importantly, Lord, we, we pray that you would draw our hearts to be aligned with your heart for the nation of Israel, the people of Israel. There's chaos that is being experienced, and that experience is not limited to just Jewish people. We all know that there are many non-Jews involved, many Muslims, many Christians, many people of different faiths who are paying attention to the circumstances in the Middle East right now. Americans, Europeans, Asians, Africans, people from every continent are concerned about what has happened, what is happening, and what will yet come to pass. As believers in Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Messiah, we know that all, all these things point to a time when your kingdom will come. This, this world will be replaced with a new heaven and a new earth. And those of us who are prepared for that eventuality will rejoice at your coming. But countless millions of people don't know you. It is our prayer that you will draw men and women, boys and girls, to yourself. Bring your will to pass in each of our lives. We ask you to be exalted even in these most difficult circumstances. And Father, we, we pray for the innocent, that you would protect the innocent. Everyone anticipates that many innocent have already suffered and many more will yet suffer. We ask you, Lord, to stop the guilty we ask you to cause those who have nothing but evil plans to fall into the pits they've dug for others. We ask you to protect the apple of your eye, Israel. Help all of us to learn to understand the blessings that come to those who bless Israel and the curses that come to those who curse Israel. We ask these things in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus, the Messiah. Thank you, Lord.